Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. So summertime is a thing where we all enjoy ourselves and it's a time where we can relax or sometimes you have to work but still. But for a majority of us at least, or a majority of the people that I'm going to be talking to, it's about having a holiday. And in England it's referred to as the six week holiday but in America it's return you know, it's the summer vacation, which some of you may be on. In Scotland, you might be on by now. But it's summertime, and I'm nearly done. And from tomorrow, I have a whole holiday, hopefully until the end of September. Generally, I think it's difficult to find things to do for a whole couple of months, especially if you're like me and don't always go out. I do like going out quite a bit, but I like to stay in as well. And thankfully, YouTube's actually given me something to do throughout the summer. But I thought what I'd do is share some of my experiences with you and to give you five ideas what you can do to spend your summer so that you have a good time and it's actually a bit productive. My first idea or first suggestion is try and learn a new skill or maybe develop a skill. So what I'm going to do this summer is I'm going to keep practicing with my guitar and practicing with my music in general. So there's piano and my singing as well. Something that you could improve, that'll be improving for me, it's not a new skill. But you could also uh, try and learn a new instrument, you could try and learn a new language. You could just try and not tie or something like that. And it'll give you a couple of new skills, what you can do, and it might actually prove useful. You could learn some first aid, first aid is always useful. My second idea to spend the holiday is to travel. As you've probably all been watching my videos and know I'm a keen traveller, that of course this is going to come from me. But it's not expensive to travel all the time, you, don't have, you can make it as cheap as you want or as expensive as you want, but it's something that gets you out and gets you to make memories. I always try and aim to go and see a new couple of places within the summer. I've already been to Leicester and I'm hoping to go and see Berlin and Malaga for travelling though. I've got a forest that is literally a mile over there. Well, it's not my forest, but... And travelling doesn't mean having to go all the way across the country, all the way around the world. It could be going for an adventure up there. So that comes on to my uh, third point, which is to make memories. This is the summer. You may as well enjoy it, and you may as well make some memories, whether that's your friends in the park or going on an adventure. This is the main time to make opportunities, especially here. Uh, as you are younger, most likely, and you can go and make opportunities and you can make memories that way. Travelling, for instance, is a good way to go and make memories because you get to see somewhere new and you get to enjoy yourselves and you get to experience new things and that's always good when you want to make a memory. You don't want to get to the end of the holiday and get ready to go back to school and think, actually, what did I do this holiday? Whereas if you're thinking, oh, what amazing things did I do? and you been climbing or if you went for a walk and got lost you've made memories you know that and you've actually gone and done something and you've had a good time doing something hopefully my fourth tip is to relax but when i mean relax don't relax too much yes it's the holiday it's good to have a bit of downtime a bit of me time but you don't want to be there for the whole holiday because although it may sound like the best idea ever, you know it's going to come to an end. And you know you're going to remember it for sitting there, watching Friends on TV. Finally, if you are going to relax, and this is my fifth tip, it's go and read a book. I may sound old, I may sound boring, but it's something I always do when I'm on holiday. And what I've got and got today, John Steinbeck's the Grapes of Wrath. But I know that I will read the 400 pages on my holiday and I will enjoy it because this will probably be the only book that I read this summer. It doesn't have to be anything uh, strenuous, it could be something simple like Kaleido Saini's The Kite Runner or The Reluctant Fundamentalist is what I wrote, read last year and I even read The Great Gatsby when I was in America. Actually no I didn't, I read that on six hours. I read the whole book though in six hours so that was interesting. It doesn't have to be something difficult to read but as long as it'll let you unwind and it will take you into a fantasy world and that's good because it gets you out of reality and it gets your mind at rest. 
So overall, what I'm saying is enjoy the summer, but go and make it productive. You may as well, even if it's something like video blogging, just go and do something where you're going to make memories or you're going to help someone out, or you might learn something that will benefit you in the future. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you like it down below and give me a comment as well why you've enjoyed it. If you've liked this video and you're new to my channel, you may want to uh, click subscribe there and that will uh, link you to all my other videos as well and then you get to see what I post on every Friday, UK time, approximately 5pm, but my videos come out on a Friday so just keep an eye out on the Friday or Saturday morning. Hopefully I'll get a couple of travel videos out as well, but in the meantime while I'm travelling you may want to follow me on Twitter because you get to see what I do when I go travelling and as well as that I also post on Snapchat when I'm travelling at convenient points when I've got internet I'll take load of photos and then upload them all or upload videos when i am actually got an internet connection. Hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. New videos out every Friday, last week's video is at the end as per usual, as well as everything else that you need to know. Hope you've enjoyed it, see you next week guys, bye!